Alright, salutations everyone, and welcome to Legend of Grimrock. For those who are just joining us, well, we have just begun our misadventures through the archives, and are now ready to head down a bit further, although someone helpfully provided me with information on exactly how to complete a certain puzzle, and that I actually was not crazy, and so we're gonna go do that first. It's not a puzzle, there's apparently a button here that I've missed. That leads to a time-sensitive door. Let's see if we can find it. Hmm. Time-sensitive door, time-sensitive door, where are we? He's not telling the truth. Supposedly behind the teleporter in the catacombs. Unless he literally means behind the teleporter. No, that's not possible. Wait. It's not right here, is it? No, it can't be. Um. <sighs> You told me there's a secret here. I will find it. Hmm. Because, wait, no, that makes no sense. This would... Fine, fine, fine. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna go crazy trying to find this stupid thing. Maybe it's just on the other side and I'm just crazy. Wait. No, that's just a piece of dirt. How the heck I can confuse that for a portal or a button, I'll never know. the empty walls that buttons can be on. They are now exceedingly dead, and we are now fully aware of the secret. Why did that take me so long to find? I'll never know. Alright. Flare feather cap and a bunch of fireballs. Now how did I have this set up? Something had the explosives in there. There it is. A flare feather cap is one protection, two dexterity. Which, oddly enough, doesn't actually do anything for Pudero. The dexterity does not affect his hit rating in the slightest, so it's actually kind of a useless secret. Hmm. Well, annoying. And we'll just... What is the biggest piece of food that we have? Physically. I think the herder caps. Yeah, I think it's the herder caps, so we'll eat one there. And you all kind of vaguely need food, so her caps for everyone. Heck, I'll even toss one your way. Alright, anyway, we'll continue our dungeon delving expedition, as we have just actually finished off this area already. And we are meant to now go down to the archives. I also just realized we have none of our quarrels enchanted. 
There we go. Now we're properly equipped. Further on down south we go. We entered into this room, filled with nothing but statues of really buff gladiators, wielding sword shields and other assorted weapons. But since they're all stone, we couldn't lift them up and beat people over the head with those statues. So now we're just kind of exploring. Keep the lights on. Now we find more quarrels. And a scroll of fire shield. Guess what we can't use? Now, if our memory serves, there is actually something back here. Or there's something in one of these corridors. Am I actually being picked up here over the game audio? Yes, most definitely. I don't have to let paranoia get the better of me. Although it usually does. I should also make sure you have a spell prepared. I need to find a key, meaning it's in here. And there's the secret. Was there anything in this room? do. Evasion plus 8 over the Huntsman's Cloak. I think the Huntsman's Cloak is actually honestly better. You would actually like the Evasion Cloak over the Tattered one. The Tattered one can move down to another Tattered Cloak, meaning our wizard gets a Tattered Cloak, and I need to... don't need to actually re-prepare the spell. Greetings, Zalrock, and welcome. I actually went back and found the secret that I think you had described in the catacombs, if I'm not going crazy. And then there's the Scroll of Light, which I've been needing to find for a while. But all that was in there was this really dumb cap and, I think, a little bit of food. Unfortunately. And we'll toss this box at Poudreau, because Poudreau has become the pack mule extraordinaire. Anyway, now that we have our key, we can start moving forward from here. And into this dungeon proper. And now jump down the pit we go. No reason not to. And what's this? Another note. I know. I was disappointed too when I took a jump just to discover that there was nothing useful here. Torum. Ah, Torum, Torum, you disappoint me greatly. Unless there's something you've missed. No. Arc Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader RP series. Isn't that quite ironic? Because we've actually just finished off our own Rogue Trader RP, myself and my friends, not even like two weeks ago. <laughs> ah well. Ah, let's break down these crates. And is there anything here at all? If I remember correctly, this area starts becoming a lot more dickish with secrets. Uh, anyway, I should actually probably explain myself when it comes to Rogue Trader RPs, tabletop role plays, and the like, and I was the Rogue Trader of our then crew of maybe four people with a rotating cast of characters. And I was having a ton of fun with it. It's a wooden door. Why can't I just break down it? Why do I have to go and find a bloody key? Uh Fine, I'll go in the proper direction. Ah, yes, this puzzle. I'll remember the solution to it eventually. But first things first, we got this one. Oh boy. It was the solution to this stupid thing? Because both these buttons only invert certain areas. Ah, good. We'll jump down there later. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Ah, 
Alright. Let's fight. There we go. I'm so glad we killed you. Yeah, uh, if Ark is the person who's dictating how the story is going, then yes, you are completely correct. Also, hello, Dark Alchemist. Good to see you again. Yeah. <sighs> I am currently just running around jumping through dungeons, jumping down pits, as is <coughs> and fighting a bunch of horrid monstrosities. Now, I heard something briefly move down here, and I know there's a secret, but we're gonna just snooze on this for a little bit. And get another message from this person. I watched this dungeon being built. But they took it away from my people, and twisted it. Filled it with traps, and riddles. This is not how this place was meant to be. And the Man of Gears tells us once again that there's something amiss here, yet I also believe there's something amiss with the Man of Gears. Anyway... I can hear something moving around down here, and I know that one of these areas is a secret. There we go. Ah, yes! No. No, I'm not getting caught by this thing. This thing shoots lightning bolts. With extreme prejudice, if I might add. It is by far one of the scariest creatures right now, because it's one of the few things that can hit all characters. Oh gosh, I filled up on everything again. Uh, let's organize the inventory. Pit rip breads all go in this crate. This crate will get our first set of fire bombs. This one will move over. Drop the two scrolls, which should go towards our lore master. And we'll put more food inside the crates yet again. Crates upon crates upon crates upon crates upon crates of food and nothing but. With the sound of my nightmares going on in the room just to our right. Oh, these are lightning bombs. Excellent. I'll make use of, I'll make use of you later. Now, is there something else to open this, or is I just going to hear the sound of my nightmares for a while? some of this blood drop blossom for later. And then I need access to this room in particular. Good. Another note. I preserved some of my extra herder caps in the nearby room. I'm not quite sure what the exact sequence of events was that opened the door, but I think I had to do three things and I'm certain that at one point I pulled a lever repeatedly, leaving it in an upright position. I hope the food hasn't gone bad. This puzzle, this puzzle, this puzzle, this puzzle, this puzzle, this puzzle. Using nothing that I found in the dungeon. Um, sorry about that, hang on. Using nothing but that note alone, you have to figure out this exact sequence of events. First things first, we're gonna load that up for no particular reason. Hit this button, turn around, go back to this lever, pull it exactly five times. One, two, three, four. It's upright position, and then tap this. Okay, let's try this again. Hit that once. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that was a miss, somehow. 
would just shock you. Oh my god, you're not dead. Oh my gosh, you're finally dead. <sighs> oh, and the light spell's about to go out. Anyway, sirens and lamias. Um. Maybe? I'm trying to remember all the enemies I've seen in this game, and I don't exactly remember anything that's particularly fe female. Conjurer's hat. Excellent. I can finally put on my wizard's hat. Additional willpower is always nice. Uh, let's see here. Let's see, let's see. We got more food to put in. Oh, he's actually loaded up on food for once. We've actually overloaded him. That's hilarious. <sighs> Let's see here. Anything else I could possibly imagine? Anything else I could transfer over is the better question. No, you actually need that. I mean, I could technically just shove this container on him. Because it contains nothing he's actually going to use. And the pack mule... Well, the pack mule can hold a lot. I highly doubt that he should hold absolutely everything. Let's see. Ah, uh, you're just holding a ton of armor for no good reason. Scroll of Poison Cloud goes to you. Oh, and Pit Root Bread. We'll continue increasing our stores of food. Just two full crates of it. We are never running out of food and sustenance for a while. And now we can finally open up the other room. Which I have no memory of what's in there. Except nothing but horrid monstrosities. Where's the key? There's the key. You're dead. You most certainly are not. I can cast? I cannot cast yet. Cast. There we go. Alright. As irritating as all that was, you can now see why I don't like the lightning bolt enemies. Huh? Oh, Dark Alchemist. Yeah, like we've already started. I think I might have to rest for a little bit. Never mind. Instant full heal right here. Right now. Perfect. And a tattered cloak. Um, let's get your arrows up to snuff. Put them in. Get the blood drop blossom. I think there was a secret right here. There it is. Which leads to a fist and dagger, which is utterly useless because nobody here uses daggers. And as I said, you guys get to listen to my lovely, lovely nightmare sound for just a little while, at least. And let's go to the nightmare side. Methinks the mountain is angry. Methinks the mountain is very, very angry. Picked up a ring greaves, which is the legs portion of heavy armor, and everybody knows how much everyone loves the giant enemy crab. But what about the giant enemy dungeon crab? And the annoying bit about this foe is that he can strike us. Unfortunately.
My previous save file is over six hours long, and it's actually not much further than this one. So, in all honesty, no, Grimrock doesn't kill you outright. Needless to say, though, it does add to a sense of urgency.